All right, let's try to take two of that in. Okay, so here we are for take two. AMS 2, we're going to be racing GT3s at Montreal. We're trying to get one entire clean race from start to finish, hopefully with no spins, etc, etc. Trying to avoid as much contact as possible. We're going to be racing in the Porsche GT3. We're going to be racing against a field full of other GT3s doing 10 laps around Montreal. We will be starting from the back and the AI is on 100. So just looking at these start lights, away we go, they will make a nice getaway. And we're going to try and just close off as much distance as we can, see if we can get like a couple of people into turn one, because with the AI being higher up, we are going to need absolutely to get ahead as quickly as we can to try and make places up the field. So, we managed to jump five cars in that first two turns while they were messing around figuring out what they wanted to do. So that's going to be our bonus for now. Let's see if while they take time and all follow the same racing line, we can get one guy going here at least. While they try and figure it out. Okay, so I know this is going to get a lot tougher later on. Break for the bridge. Go on, I'm going to let you go. Okay, we still have the McLaren to our outside, just to the rear quarter. Okay, yeah, we have to take that Porsche there as well. We have to. We have no choice. I think I might have just touched the Beamer there. Yeah, we had to take him. It's going way too slow. Alright, so 22nd place. About three quarters of the way through the first lap. Just coming up to finish it in the second. I'm going to let all these guys just take their time and go through as slowly as they like. Try not to eat too much sausage on the way through. And if I get close enough here, I'm going to make a move for the inside. Which I do nice and neatly before we get there. And then this guy's going to take forever to go around the turn. So I end up making just tiny bit of contact there again. He doesn't look very damaged from it. Just coming across a little bit to defend from the Porsche from behind. Gets a very tardy exit coming out of there. Probably because he's trying to stop my run up here. Sorry, right, bud, you have it this time. Ooh, little contact. Okay. Just gave him a little friendly nudge, that was all. Okay, so we're looking for the bridge. Hopefully he doesn't give me a friendly nudge here. Yeah, we got that done. So we're looking to just after the 150. Just to the left, that's our special place. Whenever we go to watch the F1 and come down to the circuit, that's where we chill. All right. He got compromised by his friend. Two beamers just worn it out. But again, I'm gonna let this guy go because I don't like to fight in this last chicane. Ate a bit of sausage there. Might have gotten a smack from behind too, not sure. All right, so we're going for that up the inside move again. Just past the 150, hit the brakes. Down, down, down. He cuts us very harshly there. And then still gets back in front, but that's okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Just, yep, yeah, just push it. The Porsche is behind us, just trying to get back in the game as quickly as possible. So we're on to lap three. Nowhere for the move this time. Gonna compromise ourselves more than anything else by trying to do it there. So our best bet at this point is to just stick with him. We're probably gonna get him here. Just move to the inside, try not to break on the grass because that can definitely ruin your day. 
got the move done before the chicane, running close to the wall but not touching it. But yeah, this car is definitely fun to drive. Just after 150, breaking down for the hairpin. I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that they go super slow in the turn. And just catch right up to the back. But as you know, the way in which we're playing this out, we're gonna let them just go through this, unless I blatantly have it by this next chicane. I'm gonna let this guy go in front of me. So I'm gonna ease off the gas and I'm just gonna break down slowly. Ate a bit too much sausage that time. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and stay away from that. trying to get away from me there this, this car is like a, a dodgy partner like a dodgy husband or wife it's amazing most of the time but you never know when it's gonna catch you out and this car is very very much like that like you think everything's going great and then out of nowhere you're just spinning around so you just always have to be watching this car constantly okay we make that move up the inside and now we have this uh, spray painted AMG in front of us I do like that color it's very cool Again, just trying to get away from me there, just a little bit, that rotation. But we're into 17th place. So like I say, the air is on 100. The uh, aggression is set to, I think I upped it to 70. I was doing it on 50 originally, but I upped it to 70, I think. Oh, way too much sausage. Okay, alongside the BMW, we're definitely gonna have him here. Yeah, trying to get away from me again. You constantly have to watch this car. I'm gonna just cut him off very quickly, leave him with nowhere to go. But yeah, I think we've had the best of the tires so far. So the car is just getting a just little bit squirrely. Yeah. It looks from the tire indicator that it's gone down a bit, so you're not getting a maximum performance. Yep. As we plow straight to the back of that McLaren. <coughs> so we're going to have to start watching now to make sure that we're not overshooting turns. So sorry, Mr. Macra, didn't mean to bang into you. So much for our no contact thing, but I think we broke that age to go anyway. But yeah, so here we are coming up to complete lap five, three three quarters of the way through the lap. 16th position. Once again, our rule we're gonna let these guys go, so we're gonna let off the gas. Now we're gonna break, so just break down slowly. Oh, we've got too much sausage again. I'm trying to get a side of Wall of Champions with that too. All right. Time now to just be just a little bit more careful now that the car is not operating at its maximum. Top 10 finish would be nice. <clears throat> but the fight between these guys whilst it's slowing them down is going to give me opportunities. Ugh. It's also compromising my race pace a bit. 
All right, so I'm gonna move to the outside here. Just to give this guy nowhere to go. So then they're gonna have to kiss up next to each other and I am just gonna slide up the inside, pass both of them. Right, the two of you can go back to fighting now. I'm gonna ease on down the road. So, back straight, 14th position. And we are chasing down this McLaren. So we look for the gantry. Oh, something feels wrong with this. Oh, wow. The bends come right back at us. There's just a little contact going through the chicane there. I'm not going to let that stand. Give me back my position. Alright. I think we should be able to get close enough to... Ooh, we were so close there. Yeah, we should be able to get in here. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, if I break super late. Yeah, done it. Nice one. Okay. I'm running the damn chicane over, whatever. Give me my track limits morning, I'll take it. Feels like the stopping distance has changed with the car. But in a weird way, because sometimes it feels like it stops quicker and sometimes it feels like it stops later. Let's see. Brake bias is on 62. I'm normally a more real with brake bias person, but I'm kind of used to driving it like this now, so I don't really want to mess with that too much. Okay, 14th position. We have laps 8, 9, and 10 to go. Let's see how much ground we can cover. Just riding curbs like crazy. Rotation in this car is nuts. Once you get the hang of it, it definitely becomes more and more fun. Lots and lots of correcting with the steering wheel, but uh, yeah, definitely fun. Okay, as we make it past the McLaren, if we keep missing shifts, we're gonna get caught, obviously. So, 13th position. McLaren right up behind us again. Oh, wow. What's wrong with my fuel? My shift, sorry. Miss shift. Okay, he drew so far in front of me, I had no option but to touch him then. Uh, barely keeping it in there. So we're back into 14. I think that uh, dream of a uh, top 10 a bit of a pipe dream right now but that's okay it's definitely been fun and uh well worth doing so bridge get down into seconds if we can get close enough by the hairpin we might be able to get on both
Yep. Which we totally can. And leave the two of them back there fighting. So, positions 11 and 10 are right in front of us. And we have one lap left. So I don't know what our chances are, but I'm going to give it my best shot. My braking distance is still like they've lengthened and shortened at the same time. So weird. Yeah, I don't think there's very much chance of catching those guys anymore. I think I'm eating the best of the performance out of the car. Yeah, the tires are a bit worn down. But not bad. We went up, what, 20 places from 30 seconds. So not bad for a fun practice run. And here we are. So we're going to come up to cross the line for our 10th lap. Here we go. Pull down lap active. Okay, so let's see where we came in this. 12th place. Very cool. 16 minutes, 37 seconds. Finishing time was... 16 minutes, 24 seconds. So we will do that again at some point. But definitely a lot of fun.